Welcome to Tea Time with Karen. Today I'm going to talk to you about enzymes. And enzymes are really important um, for our diet. They help us digest foods and different enzymes help us digest different foods. Like you probably heard of um, lactose to digest milk. And then for fats we have lipase and protein we have protease. And we have cellulase for um, grains and amylase would be for carbohydrates. So we have all these proteins that we get from, these enzymes that we get from food, and to know it's an enzyme, it would end in ASE, um, that we get from our food that help us digest our food. So they're really important part of our diet, and most people are not getting enough enzymes in the diet, and enzymes really are like living food. So. Think of it, um, if you eat a raw vegetable, you'd be getting enzymes. If you're, if you're eating cooked vegetables, you may or may not be getting enzymes in your diet. So that's something to look at. Most people are not eating live food. And to me, live food has all the enzymes in it to help us digest the nutrients. So what destroys an enzyme is cooking. And there's a little controversy I've read um, at temperatures 114. The enzymes all get destroyed. I've also seen at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the enzymes get destroyed. So really um, cooking is really important. So lower temperature cooking, if you're cooking your vegetables, which are where plant sources and fruit are where you're getting your enzymes, that is, the lower temperatures you cook at, then the less likely you are going to be destroying the enzymes. And that's really important because without these enzymes, we're not going to break down the food we need and our digestion is going to be compromised. So it's really, enzymes are really important and most of us are not getting what we need. The other thing is if you're eating um, foods with lots of you know, more raw food with the enzymes, you're also getting hydrated. So your body's not going to require as much water because there is water in these vegetables and fruits that contain enzymes. So that can be part of your water allotment for the day. So the more you eat a raw diet, the more you will um, get benefits of hydration. So one of the things I'd like to challenge you guys with is to add more foods that are not cooked at high temperatures or more raw foods to the diet and see how your energy levels go because if we have enough um, enzymes to break down our food, our energy levels should go up. So experiment, you know, play with it, see about eating, you know, more, less highly cooked foods. We, like I said, between 114 and 140 degrees, I know that's a wide range, so the lower the better, the enzymes are going to be destroyed and not help. So, you know, adding more raw food to the diet can help digest or lower cooking temperatures. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Enjoy the rest of your day and welcome to tea time.